I'm sure this video won't get any worse than this. <sighs> oh boy, he doesn't even know what's coming. Okay guys, today we're going to be uh, reacting to Uncle Roger hate Rachel Ray Adobo. Let's get right into it. Rachel Ray, the American Jamie Oliver, the Karen of cooking. She destroyed oh, fur, low. she destroyed Pad Thai. Today, let's see if she destroy Filipino adobo. It's a Filipino classic, chicken adobo. So you start with a big old Dutch oven and brown up okay. two pieces chicken of chicken good. per adult portion. Okay, so if you're entertaining six people, do 12 pieces. You brown that in some olive oil. Olive oil, hi, uh, no Definitely olive Jamie oil Oliver. for Asian food. Olive oil and Asian food, just like carbon fiber and submarine. They don't go together. Uncle Roger gonna start a group called Just Stop Olive Oil. In the bottom of your but Dutch browning, oven, correct. Until it's nice and crispy on both sides. Okay. Now it's gonna get spicy and good. I won't exactly now not. I won't exactly not eat it, but I prefer my meat boneless. It's something that developed when I got older. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't really mind boned meat like steaks and stuff like T-bone, but. As I grew older, uh, I uh, just stopped liking meat with bones in it. Don't know why. Didn't have any form of negative experience. I don't mind animals being killed to eat, any of that. But if I find a vein in my food, ooh, no, no way in hell. A vein or, I, I hate veins more than bones. Why wow, she suddenly sound like that? It's gonna get spicy and good. No, no, no spice, no spice. Why her voice like that? Spicy and good. What kind of what? ghost possess Why her? Was he Is it the ghost of bad cooking? Manner? Because a topo not supposed to be spicy. Now we're gonna add just a drizzle more oil because I barely got so, any drip. So not olive supposed oil. to be spicy. The first level of is coarse black pepper. Black pepper, Two correct? Okay, I, don't I can be take cheap black on the black pepper. pepper. No it's essential in the dish. But, so I'm just eyeballing. But it's a bit weird to throw black pepper in now. Usually we add black pepper into the marinade, not straight into oil like this. It's gonna get burnt. Pot. Coarse black pepper. We're going to reserve flavor. half of the chilies. Chili wrong. The dish. And we're Don't going like to add chilies. half to the pot. Uh, yeah. Even if chili correct, why are you using jalapeno? That Mexican. If you want to use chili, use Filipino chili, ceiling la buyo. She have to change location of chili. Like how you change location with ExpressVPN, the sponsor of this video. If you like watching show and you you're not using ExpressVPN, what are you doing? Uh, like, uh, service like Netflix or Disney jalapenos. Plus hiding so many shows from you because of where you live. What you see is like iceberg and then you're only getting just the tip. Look at this, USA Netflix got 6,300 titles. Mm. Pretty good. But Canada have more, and UK even more. Netflix actually got more than 17,000 titles. But you can't see them all from just one country. That's why you need ExpressVPN. Okay. It let you change your location. Tricking Netflix into showing you all the show. Look, this show, so funny. Cannot find in US. But I use ExpressVPN to change to UK and now it's there. And this cooking movie, only available in Australia. One click and Uncle Roger streaming in seconds. Fui yo. ExpressVPN let you get thousand more show. Netflix raising price to $15 a month. You deserve more than just a tip. So listen to Uncle Roger. Go to expressvpn.com slash Uncle Roger to get three months free or click link in description. Okay, guys, ExpressVPN uh, forward slash Uncle Roger through country borders. If you want to watch something that's only available in Canada, just use ExpressVPN. Uh, original video will be linked in the description. If you do enjoy the video, head over to Uncle Roger's channel. Give him a like. Give him a, a sub. If you enjoy my video, give me a like and a sub. I'm going to try pausing the video more when I talk because I uh, got a comment about it. Of literally bulbs of crushed garlic. Garlic, good. Really Let me know if I pause it too much. Nice. Lots of fresh bay. Fresh bay. Bay leaf, good. Or, or, and fresh bay is going to be Uncle sure Roger. Only fan I'm sure I've had it before. Give that a stir and it will clear what, out what, your sinuses what exactly by is the, the by. purpose of bay leaf? So keep your head back a little bit from the pot. And then a large bunch of scallions or green onions when they're... Mm. Okay, scallions spring or Spring onion. onions. Uncle Roger, don't cook inside the adobo. Uncle Roger, just use spring onion at the end like topping. Or as Jamie Oliver like to call it, spring onion is P. 
pimpage. The ultimate okay. pimpage. And we put the whites in the pot and reserve the tops or the greens for when the dish is done. Okay, at least you got some at end. Pot. Now we're going to add three quarters of a cup of vinegar. Vinegar, correct? Okay. Mm, but Uncle Roger won't put vinegar straight in hot pan like that also. It's going to reduce too much. Your adobo going to be more sour than my ex-wife. The volcano makes us an elementary school. That's about six turns of the pan. What? That. What did she say? That's about six turns of the pan. Six turns of pan? What kind of bullshit measurement is that? I, uh, that surely it depends on how fast you circle? pour, how big the pan is, everything. That's like asking someone how long you're gonna take. Oh, not long, just like six walk in the park. If you want to give bullshit measurement like this, just say use feeling, okay? Use feeling. Just pour vinegar, listen to your ancestor spirit. That's about six turns of the pan. That will also clear your sinuses out, so back it up. This woman just obsessed with clearing her sinuses. Your sinus got problem, just go see doctor. Hi, uh... And then we're gonna put in about the exact same amount of soy, or I'm using tamari. Tamari? What is soy tamari? Sauce? So tamari just mean gluten-free soy sauce? Miss Rachel, why, why do you like soy sauce for weak people? Why? Why is everybody going gluten-free nowadays? I, I don't get it. W w what's the point in it? I know that the whole gluten thing was originally for people who were allergic and then suddenly other people are like, hey, it's more healthy. Let's completely take the taste out of our food. Who these weak people who can't handle soy sauce? Who get killed by soy sauce? In Asia, almost every meal has soy sauce. How you live your life? Imagine at your funeral, people go, he died doing what he loved. Eating dim sum. <laughs> Just use okay. regular soy sauce. Or if you want to impress Filipino people, use silver swan brand. Or I'm using chimari aged soy sauce. How many turn of pan is that? Okay. And then we're going to sweeten it up with about two tablespoons of light brown sugar sugar good A nice coating over the and top she's using brown sugar that's good oh my god it smells As I said so in previous good videos, uh, brown sugar has a richer taste that was coming sugar. out again but it smells so good oh. all this, Uncle Roger, don't feel comfortable all this bowl of food is gonna and now we're going to drop the heat soul. way down correct and let the finish the chicken cook to finish through. Nice, okay, at least you put chicken back in. We'll come out. You can just leave chicken in there and cook all in one pot. No need to separate out. But so far, so good, Miss Rachel. Big improvement. Except for olive oil, all the step actually pretty correct. Just have to leave okay. it in pot, let it cook, and your adobo gonna be okay. Uncle Roger think this might actually turn out decent. Famous last word. We're gonna leave this covered and simmering for about 35 minutes. Lid on. Nice. Heat way down. Garlic rice is a really big deal in Filipino cooking. Correct, garlic rice, classic Filipino dish. So we're gonna take Isn't another whole bulb of garlic, with it, crush it, it like that? and throw it into Wait. chicken stock. What? We're gonna no, 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 you don't boil garlic. Hiya. Garlic rice, you just fry the garlic, fry the rice and put together. That it? You, you're boiling? Garlic. Why? Cook our rice in chicken stock rather than in no. water. No. So extra flavor. In any cooking show, if Uncle Roger see rice going into saucepan, I know it's not gonna end well. It's up to I a boil. Now we're gonna reduce to simmer, and I'm going stock? to add What's coriander your seed. Coriander seed. No. no. If, if, what the hell? Why are you putting cooker. random shit into your rice? That way you don't have you to put coriander seed pan. in like this when the rice done cooking. You're not gonna be able to take the seed the rice out. Cooker does you're eating all the work fluffy for rice you. and then suddenly you got crunchy coriander seed the in there. The right Who wants that? You're gonna break your tooth. Lid on. You know the drill here. The Lid drill is to use rice cooker. And let that cook up about 15 minutes. Turn it off. Let it stand five minutes more. For our chicken that's just been gently simmering. That actually looks But at least good. the adobo look okay. Other than we're the gonna take it back out. I might actually consider eating And then we're that. gonna turn the heat up because now we have all the juice from the chicken itself. Especially I fished I out the, the five the fresh bay leaves from our adobo sauce for our chicken. 
Meanwhile, I cooked rice. Now I'm gonna finish with a nice fat sprinkle of toasted sesame. No. Gives it a great extra crunch. Oh. Sesame seeds? Oh my god, niece and nephew. Look at this rice. That rice looked disgusting. A clumpy rice with raw boiled garlic and coriander seed lying around. Uncle Roger is so okay. upset I have to What's put my leg down from chair. Seed and niece seed. Rachel, what you doing? The is there a difference between coriander and sesame seed? Uh... I don't think I've even heard of coriander seeds. Opo looking okay. All that left to do is to make plain simple white rice. And you still fuck it up, hi. With a nice fat sprinkle of toasted sesame. You, glad she you did, don't Uncle need Roger sesame seed. You, no, you need uh, Jesus. You need Jesus. And anything that adds texture and flavor, I say go Not for it. Not everybody can no, be entertaining no, just, when doing stuff oh, right, like uh, Anything Gordon. that adds texture and flavor, I say go and for it. And he was only able to do it like what, once? What is white people obsession with texture? Plain white rice, the texture perfect. No need to add random shit texture to it. What, what the, the hell? hell? Asian people, we eating white rice for a million of years. It good enough for us. Fuck your texture. Texture, not something you put to fix your shit food. A toasted seed, okay. sesame and coriander, lots of garlic, and pour that sauce down over our chicken. The adobo oh. actually look good. Yeah, it does look good. <laughs> and then we're gonna top the chicken I just want with to our it's too spicy. jalapenos. Jalapeno wrong. Our green onion. Green onion, okay. A little cilantro or parsley. C cilantro, cilantro or parsley. No, no, no. You're making the same mistake nephew suit guy make. Parsley in a topo. <sighs> a little cilantro or parsley. To and them, also cilantro and parsley, not the same thing. To them, those are just toppers. It doesn't matter what they put it on. It's just for aesthetic, just for the look. This, this, oh, how can professional chef not know this? Just because they're both tiny green leaf? Parsley and cilantro still completely different thing. One tastes like shit, the other tastes like cilantro. The under seed in the rice. Nice! <laughs> what? Stop clapping, stop clapping. How what does cilantro taste like, guys? I, I, I think I've had parsley before with a meal at a restaurant. I don't remember what it tastes like, but what does cilantro taste like? they get this audience in oh do you want to check out professional chef destroying rice come i got just a show for you the video such promising start and then niece rachel just lose her way with the rice hiya niece and nephew my okay. next video uncle roger gonna make a topo show you how it's done so subscribe now if Looking you haven't to that. bye 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 uncle roger Okay, wow, well, that ended abruptly. Okay, guys, uh, as always, the original will be in the description. Um, if you enjoyed the video, head over to Uncle Roger's channel, give him a like, give him a sub. If you enjoyed my reaction to his video, give me a like and a sub, and I will see you guys in the next video.